We're delighted to have at Belgravia Gallery, for the first time, works by the celebrated American painter Susan Swartz. These wonderful landscapes, uh, very contemporary landscapes actually, are um, much talked about at the moment. They um, feature trees predominantly, also wonderful scenes of water, and they are very much embedded in the tra tradition of painting um, that comes from Turner, Monet and more contemporary noted painters like Gerhard Richter. Come and have a look. One of my favourite pieces in the exhibition is a wonderful painting called Sunkissed, which reminds me very much of Turner's late work when he was um, taking apart the traditional landscape and seascape and he was making it into a lovely abstract impressionistic piece and this is very similar. So Susan, thank you so much for coming to London and bringing your wonderful work. Tell us about this amazing painting. Well, Anna, this was very exciting for me to be here, first of all. Um, this painting was inspired by a um, day that um, the colors were fading, so it's late fall, uh, a very hard, um, almost Indian summer day, and the colors were fading, and the sun was shining out, and um, that was my inspiration for the day. It was one of those magnificent days when I was out on a sailboat and um, high winds and um, but brilliant sunlight and it was one of those um, days of just coming in and hitting the studio and I wanted to portray um, the deep blue of the waters and then the sun coming through and this was again tending towards my more abstract stage where um, it was trying to um, come from my heart and from my soul and to leave with you with an impression of what it would be for you to be out in a day like that. So Susan, tell me about the way that you've created this because I can just see so many layers put with palette, knife and with brush um, to create um, this wonderful feeling that you actually want to be in the middle of this snowstorm. Whenever I start a painting like this, Anna, um, and I want something that's very, very light in the, um, at the finish, to get the depth that I want, I start with many, many different shades. So probably on this painting, some of the darker shades of blue here, and then um, I work with maybe two or three lighter shades, putting them on and glazing in between. Um, and then when I feel like I have um, the beginning of a background I want, then I start to layer in, in the trees, all of which um, putting colors in, doing a yin-yang with the paints back and forth, and um, starting in with my creams, um, still layering over top with glazes and then the final um, splash to highlight adding um, my lightest highlights at the very end. Two very eye-catching paintings actually show the transition of Susan's work from the more representational to the very abstract. And these are a beautiful pair called Winter Solstice and Win Winter's Bounty. The interesting thing about them is that one is very representational and the other has the most extraordinary colours that ends up with a beautiful aubergine and maroon coloured sky and the canvas divided um, by what look like silver birch or aspen trees. Uh, perhaps Susan could tell us a bit more about what she had in mind. I started first with winter solstice and it was one of those days that was just a very, very heavy cloudy day with tons of snowfall. So I came into the studio and um, I started working and um, I was quite happy with what happened. And then somehow um, I got lost in my colors and I was trying to decide could I do something um, so extreme and could I possibly take it and make it work. So um, I started breaking all the rules dividing the canvas in half, starting applying my colors, and then um, just, um, I, I was thinking of it more uh, as an experiment as to whether I could make it work, as to whether it would come out as a painting, and it was just one of those happy accidents that everything actually worked, and um, I was very happy with the painting in the end. Susan Swartz isn't just a remarkable painter, but she's also a remarkable human being. 
She's used her art to uplift others and to uh, focus on the beauty of nature. Not only is she showing us nature's beauty, she's also showing its fragility. And having um, been hurt by it, she has turned her energies into campaigning to protect the beautiful environment that we have for future generations. We must support her work, both her art and her passion for the environment. I got quite ill, very ill, with um, two life-threatening diseases, both mercury poisoning and Lyme disease, each sparked by man's tampering with the natural world. I began to think of myself not only as uh, an artist but as uh, a campaigner when I was um, very fortunate to um, meet two other visionary environmentalists, um, Robert Kennedy Jr. and Louis Siswis, both of which have worked to preserve the oceans and the waterways. And so now when I'm out on the water, um, I'm not only obsessed with uh, the fun that it is to be on the water, but also the toxins in the water and how deathly ill it can make you.